I think the word teeth is going to get very, very annoying for some people. Hello guys, I am going to do a video on my teeth because let's talk about my insecurities. So someone commented recently saying, Amelia, you have really cute teeth. And I responded like really instantly, like I hate them, I hate them. And this is a thing, like I've told a few people about it, I hate my teeth. It affects me a lot and you might not notice it, but I, it actually portrays very well on my social media, but we'll talk about that later. It's only fair I give you a quick close up of my teeth. Ugh. Well that was just lovely, everyone loved that. Okay, so there's a few things about my teeth and I'll just go through them. First of all, they are very little. That doesn't come as a surprise. I'm a little person, I have little ears. Little, actually you have quite big hands. But I'm quite gummy as well. Uh, and I'm just not the biggest fan of that because it means when I smile you see my whole teeth and my gums are quite big so they're quite like swollen. Um, my teeth are yellow. That is a normal thing. I also drink coffee, I drink tea, you know. I don't drink fizzy drinks that much. Usually a gin and tonic, but you know, England uh, teeth whitening is very different compared to the US and I guess some other places. We can whiten our teeth, it's a very expensive process, but you know, we can't go to the grocery store and buy like the Crest white strips. I have used those before, however I do also have sensitive teeth, and then here's another problem with my teeth. My teeth are very weak. Uh, I don't know what it is, but you know, like, you know when people bang their teeth together? Oh, it just, it feels like my teeth are gonna break. Um, and my teeth do chip very easily. A lot of them have chipped, like that tooth there is chipped, that tooth's chipped, that tooth's chipped, that was will one of the tooths are chipped by Willow, and the two big ones, they almost have like little dips at the end, and it makes them feel weak, and if you look up really close, it looks like a little bit see-through at the top. I just have very weak teeth. And then lastly, they're wonky. They're not that bad, but I just don't like them. It's a big insecurity of mine. I feel like I've got, I call them little sharp teeth, uh, like they're wonky here and mainly it's this big tooth. In the UK you can get braces on the NHS which is just amazing. Uh, however your teeth need to be a certain degree of wonky or like bad and this can be literally millimetres. My mouth was very crowded. They took a tooth out because it was very crowded in the hope that maybe like I might be able to get braces. Um, I still couldn't. So basically I kept going to the orthodontist and they kind of said your teeth are bad but they're not bad enough and I was like cheers mate. So I couldn't get braces. Obviously the option there was to get braces paid for privately but my parents couldn't afford that and I couldn't afford that. I mean I was like 12 and then 13 and then 14. Everyone around me had had braces and had lovely straight teeth and even then I was thinking well my teeth are very little and some of them are chipped and like that one's like dead straight, that one's, because it's wonky, it's like almost grown differently, like thicker. And I was thinking they're still going to be bizarre even when they're straight. I could probably spend to have braces now, um, but right now I'm saving more for my future. I don't actually know if I can warrant spending it, like if, I probably can afford, but it's like a bit of a tight one, do you know what I mean? And I know I won't be fully happy even when I get braces. It's just a shame that it's such a big insecurity because I am a preacher of different is good and different is good and my teeth are different and I shouldn't be ashamed of them, they're just a bit different but I, I almost have this obsession of seeing people in movies with these white straight teeth and they just look so strong and mine aren't and it's crazy and you hear so many people say bad teeth is such an off put and I'm literally there like Mm-hmm. Okay. I think also this was part of the reason I used to be so scared of kissing people. <laughs> um, it's really, really affected me and it's crazy and I'm a bit of a hypocrite when I'm like, don't be ashamed of yourself, love you, because you should. And I am learning to love my teeth. I am learning. But I'm still getting there. But yeah, I may as well tell you guys because it's not like I'm like, I love every single bit of me because my teeth is a big one. Teeth, teeth, teeth. And my mouth. So, my mouth as well is insane and it's very vain of me, but I have this whole sort of theory that this part of me is so much prettier than this part of me. I don't like my mouth. I have a very little mouth and I think I'll be more okay with having a little mouth 
if I had nicer teeth. I, I don't know, it's a very vain thing of me and it is it's something that I'm learning to understand. But, like, you're allowed to have insecurities, it's just about not letting them get the better of you and it's something I'm learning to do. My whole insecurity with my teeth is very loud on my social media without many people realising. One thing I very rarely do is smile with my mouth open, <laughs> like this. Even though it's the most natural way for me to smile, it shows I'm happy, it's just nice seeing people smile. So what I tend to do is try and smile with my mouth closed. Now, it's just not a look for me, I think it might be the way my mouth is. It goes down quite a bit so when I smile <laughs> with my mouth closed. It looks like the sort of, can I see the manager please smile? Or, I'm dying inside smile. Or, I'm really uncomfortable smile. And like, it also goes a bit upside down, so it looks like an upside down smile. So in a lot of photos, I look so uncomfortable. Um, you can just see, in so many photos, when I'm going out clubbing, I try and do that smile, and I just look unhappy. And sometimes I just don't even smile. You know, sometimes I literally don't even smile. It's insane. And the reason I'm doing this video is because social media is such a funny one because you can't see and read into people's brains how they're actually feeling or how they actually, how, how comfortable they actually are at all. So then I do something else is I hold something in front of my mouth. Whether I'm just covering my mouth, whether it's a microphone <laughs> or a dog or a rose or a donut, uh, yeah, it's just, it's bizarre, and it's something that I do that I don't even think of, it's, it's actually crazy. Uh, loads of people used to say, why do you do this silly little pose like this? I would just put my hand in front of my mouth because I hated my mouth, and I've done it for years. I would just always put my hand in front of my mouth. I don't know, I didn't even think about it half the time. And then I would be putting my phone in front of my mouth when I'm taking a mirror selfie. It was perfect, a mirror selfie, but also covering my mouth. It's actually crazy. It's, it's actually quite sad looking back on. Now don't get me wrong, I do, I do have Instagrams where I'm smiling and I do smile and I'm, it's natural, like I'm doing it now and you know, as I do YouTube thumbnails and stuff, but I think Instagram is all about the imagery and it does like affect your self-esteem and make you very critical about the way you look. Yeah, usually when I'm smiling is when I, it's sort of like a caught in the moment sort of thing or really, really just happy. Some, a lot of them are with pee actually. I tend to be smiling when I'm looking at pee, which is quite cute. I prefer my profile, so I go to kiss someone on the cheek. It doesn't always work because I'm not sometimes like, but I for some reason think my profile is so much prettier and it blocks my mouth, but um, yeah, it's, it's insane. I am, I am, I want to say I'm sorry because I preach, you know, body positivity and just positivity in general and just loving yourself, whereas I have this big insecurity and I'm always hiding it. But that is my whole teeth story. I don't know what I'm going to do about my teeth, and I like to think if I ever do do something, it's not... I really hope it's not just, like, a defeat. Um, it's hard. Because I do... I am learning to love myself a lot more. It's a, it's a lesson that I will eventually learn, but I think it's going to take me a while to learn and find out. But I am getting better and being more accepting. Um, but yeah... That is my whole tea story and I will see you guys soon. If you want a discussion, if you guys totally understand with this whole tea thing, please comment down below and honestly your opinions, like if you think I'm being just crazy and stupid, just let me know. We'll have a lovely discussion below and um, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to plug my book as always uh, because next week's video is very exciting about my book so please pre-order my book if you haven't already and just hit the bell, like get the little uh, notifications because we've got some very exciting stuff coming soon and I love you guys very, very much.